Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday around 1130. Thank you so much for joining episode 16 of my podcast. Uh, This topic is going to be talking about uh, forgiving yourself, okay? A lot of us, you know, acknowledge that we're angry at ourselves, and then a lot of us don't even realize that we're angry at ourselves. For example, you might, one of the things that I I see is that you, you might be feeling you know, I'm here and by now I should have been there and I'm way behind. The last blog post that I wrote, and I'm going to talk about it here on this podcast, is deadlines and titles, okay? Sometimes we we need a title. I need to be this person's husband or wife. I should be a parent by now. I should be here or there in my career right now. I should have X amount of dollars right now. I'm here when I should be there and it's taking way too long for me to get to where I want to be. And as a result of that, we start beating ourselves up, start giving ourselves negative self-talk, sometimes fall into depression as a result. But you know, you've got to learn to forgive yourself because Telling yourself these kinds of things are not helping you in any way, shape, or form to reaching your goals. You know, if they were working or helping, I could see that. Sometimes it's hard for us to forgive ourselves for being in, a, in an abusive relationship longer than we should have been. Or maybe we're still in an abusive relationship and know we should get out, but don't take action on that. And like I said, even if we do, we reflect back on it and think to ourselves, wow, I let myself be a victim in that situation, and why did I do that? So these are a lot of different forms of uh, punishing yourself, you know, the, the, the mind critic, the critic in your mind tells us that, and my last podcast was talking about getting a grip on the negative self-talk and how important that is but let's talk about forgiveness because I think you kind of got the message on the negative self-talk in the uh, last podcast forgiving yourself how easy is it for us to forgive other people okay we forgive we forgive other people right a lot easier to forgive others than And we're very hard on ourselves than it is to forgive ourselves. So we need to start treating ourselves like a good friend, okay? So let's say you had a friend that was in an abusive relationship for too long, right? And she isn't forgiving or he or she isn't forgiving themselves for it. What would you say to that person? If somebody, if a friend told you, you know, I'm here and I should have been there and I should be married by now, or I should have X amount of dollars by now, and compared to everybody else, I'm falling behind, and I mean, what would you do? What would you tell that person, right? You'd say something along the lines of, stop being so hard on yourself. You know, that isn't true. Better to be patient and be with the right person instead of just jumping into a title, right? And a lot of us get mixed up with that because sometimes we're so consumed with reaching a goal that we have in mind, like being married or being settled in a relationship or, you know, where we want to be professionally, that we're not looking at the the job. Is this a good job for us? Is this a good environment for us? Is this the right person with us? Because we just want to hit that fast forward button. And a lot of us, you know, want a quick fix, okay? And there can be. I believe completely, and I've seen it happen a million times, that, yeah, there is a quick fix to all of this if you can just change your mindset. You know, I read a book uh, on Mother Teresa, and uh, she was titled The Little Flower, and I I read her book, her biography, and she had this, you know, dream or, or this idea, or she would see other, you know, great saints do great and powerful, amazing 
things and she compared herself to those other saints and was you know thinking to herself why can't i do those kinds of you know things those kind of great things and then she came to the conclusion that she could do little things she could do lots of little things okay and uh that's why she was uh named the little flower because uh she was the little flower that helped support the big ones <laughs> she would do lots of little things with love so what i'm trying to say to all of you listening to this positive uh, podcast uh today is this baby steps okay one step at a time in the right direction every day take one step into the right direction learn how to forgive yourself like i said the way you would forgive others and encourage others and inspire others you know it's a good idea for you to try to use some of that on yourself okay talk to yourself like that now let's examine the self-critic a little bit that little voice in our head that tells us how terrible we are <coughs> you know i don't want you to bash that voice when you when you hear that voice you know saying something the negative voice saying something to you you know just acknowledge it and kind of say okay yeah i heard you but i'm moving on i'm not really gonna you know invest too much of myself in that negative self-talk and you just close the book on it and you move on okay because the let's talk about like i said the self-critic the self-critic is supposed to encourage you and help you to reach your goals like i said in a podcast before if it's if it's you know telling you that you have some shortcomings in some areas that's fine okay sometimes we need that to you know get on the ball a little bit and start working on ourselves and start working toward our goals i mean that's okay but like I said, to allow that voice to bash us on a continual basis so is not a good thing. And we've got to learn to get a grip on how that voice speaks to us. Okay, so when you hear that little voice, remind the little voice that we are on a path of working on forgiving ourselves and treating ourselves better. That is so important. And you know what? you might think that you've made your life hard okay but i'll tell you this life is hard it's not easy okay it isn't oh you know life happens not always because you're doing something wrong it's not always you you know there are a combination of things um and there are a combination of things that are going to make you happy just one thing is not going to make you happy it says in the bible man cannot live on bread alone well that is such a true statement because we can't okay so let's say we do have a good marriage let's say we do have the uh success that we want to have in, in career or whatever you know it's always going to be something we're going to feel like we're failing in in some area so that's why i try to tell people that i work for you know it's a combination of many things that are going to make us feel happy and fulfilled so let's say somebody comes in to have a reading with me and they're you know having a difficult time in a relationship okay so we can work on that so let's let's work on that that's fine but also at the same time we have to work on ourselves okay because it's going to require more than one thing i always advise people to like i said uh work on a combination of things simultaneously and having a reading done is always a good thing because someone else can be able to point out you know what path it is that you're on how to make some adjustments in some areas of your life because you have to be happy you have to be in a good place in order to have a good and happy relationship 
You have to be in a good place in order to give your best self in work or career direction. You have to be okay. And then everything else just starts falling into place. And like I said about uh, St. Teresa, little steps in the right direction before you know it, you're where you want to be. It doesn't have to take forever, okay? And like I said, a lot of us are looking for a quick fix. Well, you know what? If you're a quick learner, you can get a quick fix. It can happen. Um, so I hope that this helped to, this podcast has helped to enlighten you a little bit in trying to change some bad habits, change a negative mindset, and feel inspired, you know, to start working on yourself a little bit. We got to start working on the inside before we can start working on what's wrong on the outside. And sometimes when we fix the inside, the outside, in my opinion, pretty much takes care of itself. Okay. So, you know, I spoke on, uh, in previous podcast, uh, how negative energies enter our lives. Uh, like I said, negative karmas, jealous energies coming from other people, uh, a pattern of being in bad relationships and so on. And, you know, how negative energies reach us and what kind of portals and some advice and guidance on how to push all of that negative energy out. Well, sometimes we create our own negative energy that is also a a portal of how negative energy can reach us and sometimes what happens is is that we get on this negative bad streak in life for years and that changes who we are as a person it kind of programs our mind in a bad way so like I said, fixing trouble is a combination of things. It's not just one thing. So let's work on it. <clears throat> if you want to have a psychic reading done by me, please give me a call at 201-953-0658 to schedule an appointment. I do take walk-ins, but it's always best to have an appointment. The readings do go into your past, present, future answers questions gives life advice okay currently i am working on my website <clears throat> and it's being uh, uh worked on to in the japanese portion because i have a a large uh, uh amount of people from the Japanese community and from Japan that want to have readings done by me. So I'm working on the website to make it user friendly for our friends in Japan as well. And uh, I'm kind of working more on my blog and soon I want to be able to do more podcasts per week for all of you. Um, also, I am starting to run a special soon where you can be able to have your chakras align with my crystal healing bed and be able to do a full life reading. So the chakra alignment, crystal chakra alignment bed with a guided meditation and a full life reading would normally be $390, but I'm running a special from July until the, or I'm sorry, June until the end of August that you can be able to have that service at half price. So please feel free to give me a call to schedule an appointment, 201-953-0658. I'm at 810 Chestnut Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Um, my website is psychicreadingexpert.com and I do look forward to serving you. Uh, let me know how you feel about this podcast. If there are any questions or comments, I'd be happy to answer. Thank you so much. Enjoy your Sunday. Bye-bye now.